Salutations, Mojo from Censored Gaming here. Nintendo's internal localization group, the Nintendo Treehouse, has now made an official blog on Tumblr, calling it the Nintendo Treehouse Log. Bill Trinan, the senior product marketing manager of the company, said at the end of the first post on it that the team couldn't really say what the page would become, but could say that they'll post content periodically, rather than on a set schedule. Trinan goes on to say the following, the content will offer insight into games and franchises you love, presented from a unique treehouse perspective. We may not cover every game or IP, and we won't pull the curtain all the way back, but our hope is that the Nintendo Treehouse log will evolve into something fans will enjoy. So, with that quote in mind, we'll now take a more in-depth look at the first couple of posts that have been made on the blog to get an idea as to what to expect from the page. Going back to earlier in the first post, we can see Trinan shed some light on what the Nintendo Treehouse does, saying that the presentations at events such as E3 and the Switch presentation may have not painted a clear image of the group. He continues by saying that the team does a lot and that there are several groups that do various things, from internal evaluation checks and marketing products. He goes on to say that while they are much bigger than when he first joined them in 1998, and that the work has expanded and evolved, Treehouse stays true to its roots which he describes as a team of individuals with a tremendous passion for Nintendo and its games, and an incredibly deep knowledge base that comes from years of working on projects together with developers in Japan and elsewhere. The second post on the blog was by Nate Bildorf, the localization manager, who tells of how the localization of games work. He speaks of the first game he ever worked on, the original Paper Mario for the Nintendo 64. The prep work involved flying to Japan to meet with the development team, Intelligent Systems. The main work began with him playing the entire game from start to finish in Japanese, a language he didn't personally understand, which made for a difficult time when it came to progression. The developers watched over his shoulders and laughed when he messed up. Back home, he says they would talk to the development team daily, be it in person, over the phone, or even through the game's text files. The translation teams translate each message verbatim, and make notes and linguistic nuances that don't exist in the raw translation. Bildorf describes it as an exhausting, but immensely fulfilling job. Job. Viewers can check out the Nintendo Treehouse log over on Tumblr right now. This has been Mojo, and I hope you all have a spectacular night.